Don't know how I got here, but I'm blessed. Didn't know it take me past my Hi lovers, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Bubbly Vini. Welcome to the Positive Family if you are new here. But if you're an old subscriber and OG, thank you for coming back. I know I've been gone for a while. I'm not even gonna try, try and explain myself because I really really have no excuse. Like I just think that I just took um an unintentional needed break you know like they say everything happens for a reason I believe that I took this break for a reason at some point I felt like I had no content anymore I felt like excuse me I felt like I've already said everything about HIV and I felt like there's nothing else more to say but actually if i just look into it there's more to say and you guys also play a part please comment down below let me know what do you want to see what do you want me to talk about on my channel like just tell me so that i know and prepare you know what i'm saying so yeah i'm so sorry if i look like i didn't put in any effort into how i look today but i'm really really not in the mood to be doing anything fancy no earrings for me i just wanted to look simple and film this video right so in today's video we'll be talking about adherence to treatment something that i struggled with a lot a lot a lot in my life and i feel like a lot of people struggle with especially newly diagnosed uh, people they struggle with uh, adherence to treatment a lot and I felt like you know what let's talk about this let's unfold this let's talk about my experiences how I how I dealt or how I maneuvered around it how I managed to adhere to treatment so let's start with the basic thing I have notes here so I'm gonna be constantly looking down on my notes you know so let's start with defining adherence to treatment right so basically Adherence to treatment is um, starting the treatment, right? So when you go to the clinic and you uh, get diagnosed with HIV, you start the treatment, you take it every day as you told and you attend your medical appointment. So basically, adherence to treatment is you being diagnosed. Firstly, start with diagnosis. You being diagnosed, starting the treatment, adhering to the treatment is starting the treatment following through with the treatment like taking it every day as prescribed by your health care provider and attending all your medical appointments so if they say you must come next month on the 2nd of december to collect your treatment and to do your checkups you go on the 2nd of december and each month after that right for your checkup and to collect your medication so that is adherence to treatment so a lot of people struggle with that I struggled with that I know I just struggled with that I struggled with it because I there was a, a denial somewhere there, you know and I think it happens with most of us that we didn't we, we have some sort of denial and we just you know like oh we we take the pills and we feel fine and we're like nah, I don't need them anymore and then we stop taking them and then there's no adherence there so the opposite of adherence it's defaulting defaulting to treatment it means you're not taking treatment as you told not every time that you should take it you don't take it you don't come to collect your pills because obviously you don't take them so there are a lot of pills in your house you feel like no I'm not gonna go there and take more pills while I have pills so yeah that is the important treatment or you know that you should be taking treatment but you don't want to start it like you've been diagnosed with HIV you know your status but you just don't want to start treatment right so I'm gonna speak about my experience when it comes to adherence so let's start let's backtrack right I was born with HIV so from birth my parents knew about it although I didn't know my parents knew about it and they took unnecessary measures for me to take to get treatment so each and every day I would take treatment so back in the days I don't know if uh, all children had those pills but I pretty much think they did but back in my younger days you know back in my young days um, 
there was there were there were medications like what is what is, what is it called? the medication there was medicine medicine and pills I don't know my English bundles are running out guys are running out but like I'm saying there was medicine like body syrup and stuff that I would take right like two teaspoons a day stuff like that and then there were pills so there was this pill that that my mom had to put in a porridge um, there was a porridge here good clinic that they gave us at the clinic you had to to, to put the the little pill, pill thing it, you it's a capsule yeah i believe it's called a capsule i don't know but that thing the pill that you can open it has powder inside and the powder you, you put it inside the this doo -doo, the porridge and then you you mix it with the porridge and then i i, I eat it right so every day at seven i had to take every every day at seven i think it was 7 a.m and 7 p.m at the show i forgot guys it was a long time ago but all i remember is that at 7 p.m i'm sure 7 p.m you know i'm sure i don't know i'm not sure if in the morning i took them at 7 or so but i pretty much think it's the same time but i know that at 7 p.m 7 p.m i had to take the pills and drink and eat, eat that uh, nasty part it was not nice and i remember that because i used to play a lot when i was a kid like play with my friends um, my neighbors and stuff so we would play till late because my friends were my next door neighbors so and there was a fence that had a, an opening and then when when they come to my house they just go through the bubble and then when I am at their place I want to come back home I could so it was easier so I would play until late with my friends and then at 7 p.m. all all the time every day my mother would call me to come and take the pearl you know and I'm playing and I'm so much into the playing you know if you lay and when you're playing at, at night when it's dark that's where the fun is you play hide and seek you, it, it's fun to play at night you hide in the in the trees fence trees and stuff like it was so nice so I remember that the fun would end when they would call me to come and take my pills at 7 p.m. every night. So that's how I remember. So like my parents were making sure that I take my pills. My mom and I would go to the hospital to to collect the treatment and for my checkups every month. Right, yeah. All that was covered. But I was still a kid. I did not know why. I I did not know why. So I got really, really mad. By the fact that I constantly had to take pills, I constantly had to be disturbed while I was playing every night, 7 p.m., to come and take the stupid pills and eat the, the nasty porridge. I did not understand, and I don't. I did not want it anymore. So I told my parents that I told my mom that you know what, Mara, I don't want to take the pill anymore. I'm sorry, but I don't want to take it. I'm fine. I don't need it. You know and my mom listened to me I, I i don't know why i don't know why but she listened to me and she didn't take me anymore to the clinic that's how i defaulted and then her and i basically stopped taking the treatment i think we thought that we were fine and then we stopped and I, that's that's uh the lack of knowledge in us that was coming through showing through through that time and yeah it was just us being unknowledgeable uh respectively i don't want to call my mom i don't want to this was big mom but like it was lack of knowledge kind of naivety stupidity stuff like that so we stopped taking the treatment so i stopped taking the treatment for some time i was fine and then i moved with i moved in with my grandmother uh my dad my dad passed on in 2006 yeah when i was seven yeah when i was seven i was in grade one and i stayed with my mom the two of us uh great the rest of grade one grade two grade three right and then after grade three because i was staying with my mom only the two of us my mom worked like at a store 
and they closed pretty late they closed at like 8 p.m and then she would come home late at around 10 and i'm alone in the house so it was not safe for a young girl to be left alone in the house until uh, late hours so i moved to with my grandmother in pretoria right and when i moved with my grandma in pretoria i started with my grade four and then when i was in grade four i started um feeling sick you know i started feeling sick i was not okay i was just so weak you know coughing i had um what is that scabby what do you call scabby in 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 English, I don't know, but that you know that piercing pain under my breast, I had that. Like I just, I just wasn't okay. I just wasn't fine. I like I was sick. You know, I was sick. And then that's when now my grandmother took me to the nearby clinic. And then like she knew, you know, my grandmother, she knew that I am HIV positive, but she didn't tell me. Nobody told me. Nobody told me and they just allowed me and they let me say, uh, they just let me be when I said I don't, I don't want to take treatment anymore. I'm okay, I'm failing, you know, knowing that it's not fine. But then let's move on from there. I went to the clinic and then at the clinic, I remember there was a counselor and it was me, my grandmother and the counselor lady. And then they told me that I'm HIV positive. I've been like this for forever and that's why i'm feeling sick because i defaulted from treatment right so my body and my immune system is super weak so yeah i was cancelled and told everything's fine look not everything's fine but like everything will be fine and if you're normal you're just like anyone else you don't have to feel different it's okay you just take the treatment you'll be fine live healthy and do, 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 do. like like how I always tell you, that's what the counselor told me, right? Took the, and like I went back to taking treatment now, but still, even then, I was super angry with myself, super angry with my parents, and I defaulted from treatment. Like I acted like I was taking it, but I wasn't taking it as I should. So sometimes I would take it, sometimes I would forget, and sometimes my grandma is not there to remind me. And I would forget and I would just leave it and not take it. Right? Sometimes I'll act like I take it and then throw it away. I know. I know. Sometimes they'll be like, Can I go to the police? Then I go to the room, act like I take the pill, make it make a sound with the pills, and then act like I take them and just not take them. And then I remember I would have a lot of pills, a lot of pills in the house and they would not finish because I would not take them and every time I would go to the, the, the clinic to get to collect my treatment like I we never missed clinic we never missed treatment collection because my grandmother was strict as like that she thought I was taking the pills she thought you know so she was strict like that you never miss appointment you never miss treatment appointment it's important it's your life it's important you never miss it and I'm so grateful for her even today because she made sure that I never miss a treatment a checkup you know so and when we went to the clinic to get the, to collect the treatment they had this tray where they count the pills so they count how many pills you have left I think it determines to them how many pills you take you've taken and if you are um, uh, adhering or not by counting your pills they're able to know that right so they always count my pills and they always shout at me because they said you're not taking your treatment correctly because there's a lot of pills here and if you taking you were taking them correctly there shouldn't be a lot of pills like this and i was always in denial always denying to them and telling them no i take them you just your numbers they must be wrong <laughs> your numbers they must be wrong but mina i take the pills i take the pills because you i couldn't say I, I don't take the pills in front of my book but little did i know that i was uh, I was not doing my coco any favor by doing that, but I was just like putting danger on my health, you know, by not taking the pills and acting like I take them when I know I am not taking them. So my blood barrel load will always come back super high and, you know, fine. And then 
it all went i was still struggling with sometimes there's a month where i take them because it's going to be well and then fine my very load comes back on normal and fine and then yeah so and then i moved back with my mother when i, I went when i was in grade seven right i moved back with my mother when i was in grade seven and then it was the same thing my mother worked sometimes she was not there i would take the pill sometimes i would not take the pills and it was just a lot of like of that up and down with me and my health and it was not healthy that's why i feel like i delayed myself when it comes to viral load stuff and health improvement I, I delayed myself because i did not take my pills correctly that's why they did not effectively work right so if you don't what i'm saying is here if you don't take your pills correctly if you do not adhere to treatment your immune system is gonna be weakened trust it's gonna be weakened and when it is weakened it cannot fight other illnesses and other <laughs> Given other viruses when your immune system is weak it, like it cannot fight with anything it cannot fight with flu it cannot fight with headaches you'll just be sick all the time because your immune system is weak it cannot fight other bacteria and viruses right so that is what i learned and i hope you learn and take from this video that if you do not adhere to treatment you'll always be sick You'll always have flu and always have headache and always have this and then that because your immune system is weak. The soldiers of your body, you know the soldiers, they cannot fight. They are weak. They cannot fight against other illnesses and bacteria and viruses. Right. So that's what I did. I was up and down with my pills. I was weak. I would get sick easily and stuff like that. Right. So, yeah. And then where was I? Yeah, I, I stayed with my mother and then it was also that up and down thing with my adherence. My viral load was all, always like fluctuating, always high, low, high, low. And it was never, <laughs> it was never, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> it was never undetectable until I think 2016, 15, 2016 or 15. That's when I started taking <coughs> what I Oh and I have a straw because Because a straw makes me feel bougie and it makes me want to drink water. <coughs> yeah, so I was saying I I never got undetectable until 2016-2017. That's when I started <coughs> taking my meds properly. Oh, I just want to start taking my meds properly because my mother, my stepdad, and I were all HIV positive, so it was like easier for me to take the pills. No one would look at me in a certain way. I had didn't have to hide from anyone and stuff, you know. And I didn't have to feel any type of way when I take them because I knew all of us in the house to take the pills. And also, uh, for my ch clinic checkups, we'd go together. We'd go together. And it was super easy you know i would go to school and come back and find them already in the queue at the clinic and then take our post together it was just a fun thing like that so my very load got undetectable got undetectable and then yeah i moved now i moved to res 2018 I moved to res that's when <clears throat> things went because now i'm alone strangers in the room people i don't know and they're not hiv positive i'm the only one oh I, like i just i felt so alone i felt like i had to take on this full responsibility on myself i had to make sure that i get myself registered to a clinic nearby to take my pills and to get my pills from and then i needed to make sure that i take my pills every day i eat i eat well right so it was super hard for me sometimes I'll forget sometimes I'm on campus and when I get um when I get back to rest it's late it's already way past my 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 time to take pills so I'll take them at any time sometimes I'll forget you know and sleep without taking them sometimes I'll take them later or earlier thinking okay if I take them earlier if I fall asleep 
at least I took them earlier. Like so it was not taking them at the same time. It was not taking them every day. Sometimes I would not take them, you know. So <clears throat> yeah, all of that. So what I'm trying to say is that I struggled a lot with adherence. A lot with adherence until I put myself together and started being open about my <clears throat> my virus and telling people I live with and like they providing giving me support and then I, I was able to to take my pulse when they were there because I was not ashamed of it anymore because they know they would remind me sometime when I forget you know things like that I got support from the people I live with and I was no longer ashamed because people I live with knew all right and i was more open and i accepted my situation now and i'm fine with it i'm like hell like hell ava you know it is what it is at the end of the day it is what it is and then i started taking my health seriously started <clears throat> i started my facebook thing where i post about my HIV status and stuff like that and I started being positive feeling positive and I started adhering to treatment and then yeah so basically what I'm saying is it is very very important <clears throat> what you should take from this whole saga and thing also an update um I was at like I, I was undetectable right I was undetectable and then I had an issue with my health and stuff and my stomach and stuff and then I went so I was undetectable and then I had a situation an episode with my stomach and stuff and then I went back to <clears throat> detectable so which is the point where I am now but I'm really really t I'm taking my pills every day as prescribed I promise you I promise you I attend my appointment dates um you know I'm trying also to eat the things that do not upset my stomach <clears throat> and yeah so i'll update you if i'm back at being undetectable right so what you should take from this whole video it's super long i never expected it to be this long but what should you should take from this whole video is that it is very very important to adhere to treatment go get your treatment do not miss appointment dates right and take it every day as prescribed <clears throat> set an alarm to remind you and I, I i think a lot of us um a lot of us are, are struggling to adhere to treatment because it's a whole like a whole lifestyle change a whole lifestyle change you don't um you don't you know how you used to be before because now you have to remember a pill every day of your life you have to remember to take a pill every day of your life which is a huge lifestyle change some other people don't like pills other people don't like pills. other people can't take pills like they say they're too big stuff like that you know lifestyle changes like that some people were never pill people in their lives like they were never sick the people who do never you to get sick so they don't know how to take pills and medication and remember them and stuff like that so it's really really hard it's a lifestyle change and things like that but one thing or oh, a few th <coughs> things that will <coughs> help you oh, sorry guys a few things that will help you to remember to take your pills and to help you adhere to treatment during this journey is so number one set an alarm in your phone if you do not have a cell phone like you can even set an alarm on this phone. Smaller one phone, the hundred grand the go pep, one fifty go pep. Literally, you can set an alarm on that one. Footy that one, the alarm is super high. You will hear it. Alarm on your phone. If you don't have a phone, uh, ask your mom or your guardian or someone that you live with to set an alarm for you in their phone to take your treatment, right every day, so that you don't forget <clears throat> right and then also what you you can do is for you to not forget is to talk to like anyone who you're living with you can't go through this alone no man is an island you can't go through through this alone and expect to pull through doing it alone right you have to 
have someone in your corner someone who will support you through this journey it can be your mother it can be your father it can be your sister your guardian your brother your friend you know someone who will support you through this journey that person is the one who sometimes reminds you when you need to take a pill sometimes reminds you okay friend don't forget that you have an appointment date next month they'll always remind you you know <clears throat> some sometimes you forget as a human being you get too busy you know and the person who you trust will just tell you sometimes friend don't forget to take a pill even if you guys are at groove that person if you know you know you know and you trust that person is your pillar they'll always call you and say friend peel or put it cut yeah well like that just get someone who will support you through this journey someone who will remind you to take your pills remind you of your appointment dates an alarm always helps uh, if you go to the clinic and they tell you your date is next month on the 7th in your phone set a reminder go to your calendar click on the 7th of uh, December and then set a reminder clinic appointment and then on the 7th in the morning it will remind you oh just set it for it set it for it to remind you the day before and then you know tomorrow that i have an appointment date note it down in your diary your journal and you will not forget guys that those are the little things that you can do also sometimes i've noticed that these are my posts i've noticed that um you forget sometimes that you're taking your pills even though you did like for example i take my pills at 10 10 p.m at night right so sometimes i get i have an alarm on my phone and then sometimes i'll doze off at 9 or around 8 sleep and then alarm would ring at 10 p.m and then because my pills when i sleep i make sure that i have my pills on my on, on the side of my bed so when the alarm rings at 10 remember i dozed off at 9 i'm still in sleep I open my pills, take my pills, right? And then I wake up at around 12 or 1 a.m. And then I'm like, oh, man, did I take my pills? No, I didn't think I took my pills. You forgot that you take them. You forgot that you took them, even though you did take them. So sometimes it happened that you forgot that you took your pills, even though you did take them. Sometimes you think you took them, but you didn't, right? So what i think will help you in that case i also have have that problem what i think will help in that case is get um a pill container it has days of the week like monday so i'll insert the picture of it on the screen here it has the day it has the days of the week like monday tuesday Wednesday, Thursday. you put your pills in those compartments and then on monday you take a pill in on the monday section from the monday section and then on tuesday you take the pill from the Tuesday compartment, right? So you won't you won't forget that you took your pills and you won't wonder did I take them or didn't because you would see in your pill container that oh okay I did take them or really very well and if you didn't take them you'll see you didn't take them right it will remind you to take your pill and also because not all of us can uh can afford those things um fancy things like that I also know that there's a a, a water bottle with those pill compartment things are also inter inserted on the screen you can go get it it's available on take a lot someone said it's available on small street you can also take it check it out there sheen also has it if you're an online shopper like that so yeah but i cannot afford to get that one i want to get it but i'm like also it's not necessary for me because i know an alternative so what i do is these are my pills so what i do is i get it when you get the pills from from the clinic right they give you a whole like bottle with like 28 or 30 tablets inside right it's not focusing but yeah with 28 or 30 tablets inside right so what i do is i i count the days of the week so seven days of the week and then I count my pills. I count seven pills. Seven pills, you see? Like seven pills like that. I count seven pills. 
and then I put them inside an empty container that I do not use anymore right because you've been taking pills for so long or if you have not been taking pills for so long what you can do is you get I me mean, let's say they gave you two containers of pills okay they give you two containers of pills and they are both four so what you can do is count seven pills put them aside and then the rest of the pills that are left in your container put them in the other container right and then here you'll have an empty bottle and then take the seven pills that you've counted for the whole week put them in an empty thing so every time you take a pill so if if you, you you've counted seven days i get and then today is monday today is monday i i i take one pill for monday right so when i count my pills tomorrow they're not gonna be seven anymore they're gonna be six which means now it shows that i took one pill on monday so that way i'll not forget if i've taken the pills or not so if i wake up monday no if i wake up tuesday 12 a.m or tuesday 3 a.m or 1 a.m i'm like <clears throat> Today's Tuesday, but I remember falling asleep. I don't remember taking my pills. Did I take them? You're like, hey, you can just take your bottle of the pills that you counted and count the pills. If the pills are seven, then you did not take your pills last night. But if your pills are six, then you took your pills. So that's how I I managed to to maneuver this thing of remembering the pills. Because now I realize that now for me it's no longer forgetting to take them. Now for me it's like forgetting that I took them when I did take them. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that that is it you guys. Um, I really really hope uh, you learned something from this video. It's super long. I never expected it to be this long but it is what it is. I really hope you learn something from this video you enjoyed it even though it was all over the place i tried to edit out but i didn't want to say or edit out things that are not important or stuff like that but yeah thank you so much for watching and i really hope to be consistent on this on this youtube street please on these youtube streets i hope to be consistent please guys motivate me in the comments below tell me what else you want to see tell me what what else you want me to tell you about or to talk about on this channel it is a safe space just tell me or just send me an email and tell me what you want to see on this channel thank you so much you guys and until next time i miss seeing this i'll see you in my next one bye